What's up people, it's Belief, and today we're using the FFAR and this gun, you guys have to master it. It's so rewarding to know how to use this gun effectively. Um, sorry I haven't been posting lately, I've been really busy at work, but by the end of this week, I should have more time to play and upload you guys some more videos. The loadout will be at the end, but don't go ahead and skip to the end yet. Go ahead and watch the gameplay, see how good the FFAR is and if you actually like it. Uh, I definitely love the FFAR, it's going to be my new main gun to use. Um, and then I'll go ahead and explain the reason why I'm running certain attachments on it uh, at the very end. So if you guys want to see that too, go ahead and wait until then. Enjoy the gameplay. I drop a nice 20 bomb right here after not winning games in like a freaking week because I've been working. But hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Peace. What? No shot, dude. Oh, he had a fucking FAR. Alright, I'm done fucking with the AUG. You had to get fucked up by people with FFARs up close all the time, even with my MP5. I mean, maybe I could run FAR and um, the AUG. Battle Royale! I don't know, man. Gas is closing on your position. Suggest so you get depressing. Moving. Gotta get one win, boys. I haven't got one win very long time. It'd be nice to get one. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if this could be the one. That was a guy earlier. Oh! Holy crap, dude. If he did not try to do that stupid deployable shield thing, he would have 100% got me there. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. We should go up high. Cash is dead rotating in. Oh. Well done. Enemy UAV overhead. Bounty target identified. Slot the bastard. It's on the train. I'm not gonna get that dude, am I? Bro, there's another dude on, on there. I killed. Nice. Thank you. You actually said that was nice. Ooh, close ride. Bounty target identified. Slot the bastard. I got this here. Top is he? Be advised, UAV is being opened. RTB for resupply. Bye. Almost lost that. Target is down. Well done. We got recon online. UAV entry in the AO.
guy's still here. UAV is being over. RTB for. We got recon online. UAV entering the AO. Is he gonna rotate for that? Gas is closing. Get to the new Looks like he time. might. Yeah, he's rotating for it. Is there a chance to cash this motherfucker out in the open? With his pants down. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Requesting recon. UAV into the AO. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Oh, you fucking lucky bitch. That's it. Back at Requesting recon. Rotating that way. UAV entering the AO. Oh. Bro, oh, that was fucking close. That was fucking close. Enemy UAV over here. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Target area is marked. You're cleared hot. This is Tracker 3 1. Good copy. Impact, no joy. Enemy UAV overhead. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for re- Oh, thank God for stopping fire, dude. Thank God for fucking stopping fire there. Time's up. Objective failed. Enemy UAV overhead. Captain target identified. Slot the bastard. Like an old rat, dude. I need recon on my position. It's ghosted. UAV entering the AO. I got my good top. So I'm try to cut him off. Yeah, remember me? The guy you shot at? This guy can be anywhere. Check out. Advise UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for reset. Uh, reset. Oh, he might be peeking. Our guy's coming up from behind. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply.
Ooh, good prediction. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Uh, we should play for position. I really want that kill, but we should play for position right now. There's that Jeep again. Okay, so that's one guy. There's five more other dudes around me somewhere. Fuck, I could have ended his life. New safe zone located. Far, far left for the play. Target area is marked. Send it. This is Striker Three One. Good copy. Strike it back. No hits on that run. Cover, cover, cover. Good. All right. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Jesus. Let's go! Fucking 20 bombs! Holy shit, dude! Oh, everyone wants to run the fucking FFAR, so now I had to run it. Holy crap, let's fucking go, baby. All right, and for those of you who actually made it to the freaking end, here is the loadout. So I'm running the FFAR with the Diamantes. The reason why I'm not running Overkill is because I want the restock for the stuns and Simtex just to play really aggressive off the bat. Because when you're running the FFAR, you have to choose your engagements. You got to make sure they're relatively close engagements because you can't shoot super far away. I mean, that's the same shit with all Cold War guns. But the FFAR does have the best time to kill out of all the assault rifles besides the AS Val. So the setup for the FFAR is aging suppressor, reinforced heavy, field agent grip, 50 round speed mag, and the SAS combat stock. So the, the agency suppressor, um, is technically nerfed right now because of the effective damage range and bullet velocity but you're playing close to medium range anyways uh, at least with this gun so i like to run the agency suppressor um, if you don't want to you want to get the full effective damage range and bullet velocity i recommend running the socom eliminator i was definitely running with this thing for a while um, but i just decided to go back to the agency suppressor just because I want to stay off the radar and I've been in some really sweaty lobbies so as soon as you're like on the freaking radar everyone's pushing you so this is why I'm running it and then uh, they're gonna fix this soon too so once they fix it for sure it's gonna be an amazing attachment for the FFAR and then for the barrel I personally like running the reinforced heavy uh, this because it helps damage range and bullet velocity some people like running the ranger but it only gives you the bullet velocity uh, I would rather have the extra damage range because I do have that mono on uh, or the agency suppressor on my damage range is already getting kind of screwed up so by having this on it kind of helps that a little bit 
Uh, plus, like I said, once they fix that agency suppressor, it's going to be a really good attachment with the FFAR. Um, but who knows? Maybe once they fix that, Bullet Velocity would be fine too. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you guys the stats about why I like running the Reinforced Heavy. A big shout out to True Game Data. Uh, this is how I know all this kind of stuff. Uh, so the barrel here, we're running the Reinforced Heavy. It gives you extra range, so that's 30%, and Bullet Velocity and bullet velocity is 53%. Um, you do get a 2% movement speed decrease, but that's totally fine. Um, but then here you see the Ranger, you get what, 89% bullet velocity. But this, this gun has so much recoil, you don't wanna engage super far. It's gonna be hard to control that recoil unless you're a freaking god. And if you are, then big shout outs if you're as good as freaking Huskers. I'm not, so I'm running this Reinforced Heavy just to make sure that I don't push my limits about how far I could you know, shoot this freaking gun. And then for the field agent grip, I really like this a lot more than the SFOD speed grip. Uh, J God did do a little like side by side recoil, I guess, comparison. Um, and it did show that the SFOD speed grip actually reduces, um, I guess, the recoil a little bit, makes it a little bit tighter. But for me personally, the field agent grip helps with that horizontal recoil and it helps me a whole bunch when I'm shooting the gun. So you gotta just try one of these two and see what you like. Me personally, I really like the field agent grip. And then uh, I'm running the 50 round fast mags. This is because it has no disadvantages. So if we go back to the true game data website, here we see that you get the minus 0.66 seconds in the reload time but you actually don't get any ADS penalties, which is pretty awesome. You can run the SAS mag clamp, but that's still the 25 rounds. So I would definitely recommend you running the 50 round fast mag. All right, and then for the stock, we're running the SAS combat stock. Um, on true game data, the website, they actually didn't change the, um, I guess, attachment values yet. So I'm just kind of going off of this here. Uh, me personally, I like the SAS combat stock for the fire movement speed so and the ADS firing movement speed. That's really nice, so you can be able to strafe left and right a lot faster. Um, you can run the Raider stock. This helps with the sprint to fire time, so your gun getting up into the air uh, while you're sprinting. But since you're not using this as a sniper support gun, it's not that big of an issue. Plus, um, I feel like you can still push people relatively effectively without the Raider stock which is why I'm running the SAS. But go ahead and try between these two which one you like more. Me personally, I like the SAS combat stock for that fire movement speed and the ADS fire movement speed. That's just pretty underrated because um, you don't really notice it with the Modern Warfare guns because they don't have that, I guess, ability or whatever, that pro. But these Cold War guns, it, you move pretty freaking fast while you're ADSing and shooting. And it helps you a lot during gunfights. So for the Diamantes, I'm running Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, 5MW Laser Sight for the hip fire, and then uh, 30 round Fast Mag. The grips are not fixed yet, and and the stock is just the Akimbo, um, and I feel like this gun is a lot more effective ever since they nerfed the hip fire for the Akimbos. So I just added the micro LED reflex, um, and it doesn't affect your ADS times or anything compared to like Modern Warfare guns. And I have the extra slot, so I just added this sight to it real quick. But as you guys saw, I did end up switching this gun for uh, a Car 98. And then for my perks, I'm running Kill Chain, Restock, and Amp. Restock just to play really aggressive because I want to be up close and personal using the FFAR. And the Kill Chain is a pretty awesome perk. Um, I was running double time, but it doesn't really matter if you're like slide canceling. EOD is not that big of an issue no more because no one's running C4s, RPGs, or fire shotguns. Um, so it's not that big of an issue. And then cold blooded is kind of whack because no one's running thermals anymore. Quick fix and kill chain are two really good replacements for this for this perk one. Um, I'm trying out kill chain and it's helped me out a few times finding UAVs, as you guys could tell in the gameplay if you guys watched it all. And I really like it. I might run kill chain like all the time now. Uh, just to do, get a random kill streak that might help me out, like like a precision or a UAV. But yeah, so that's what I'm running on this setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys learned something, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe. We just hit 300 subs and that's freaking amazing. 
Let's see how far we can get by the end of this month. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.